Hi everybody, today we are going to see students performance using Excel. There are many formulas today we are going to use for evaluating the students performance in Excel. So one by one we will see. First is the if function. The if function runs a logical test and returns one value for a true result and another for a false result. The syntax is equal to if logical test comma value if true comma value if false the next function we are going to see is count if count if is an excel function to count cells in a range that meet a single condition count if can be used to count cells that contains dates numbers and text the criteria used in count if supports logical operators less than greater than not equal to equal to and wild cards asterisk question mark for partial matching the syntax is equal to count if range comma criteria the next function is standard deviation function stdev the excel standard deviation function returns the standard deviation for data that represents a sample equal to standard deviation of number one and number two minimum the excel minimum function returns the smallest numerical value in a range of values equal to min of number one number two etc the next function is maximum function the excel maximum function returns the largest numerical value in a range of values the maximum function ignores empty cells the logical values true and false and text values equal to max of number one number two etc rank the excel rank function returns the rank of a numerical value when compared to a list of other numeric values rank can rank values largest to smallest as well as smallest to largest syntax equal to rank number comma reference and order arguments number the number to rank reference the range that contains numbers to rank against order optional whether to rank in ascending or in descending order this ranking function is a very very useful function suppose if you want the students to be ranked you can use this ranking function it is a very very powerful excel function hi everybody today we will see the students performance using excel i have a set of students marks i want to analyze the entire students performance how effectively I can do it so Excel is a very very powerful tool through which we can analyze the entire students performance so I will teach you the simple method as well as the complex methods in doing this so let us see I want to calculate the total for the number of subjects say this guy has scored 85 in mm 76 in fm 77 in hrm and 78 in om and 77 in rm to calculate the sum you use equal to and click the particular cell then you click plus then the next cell and click plus then the next cell and plus then the next cell and plus even you can type the address of the cells i am typing h4 so he has scored 393 marks this is one method the second method is you click on the cell where you want total and there is an option called auto sum click auto sum and select the cells which you want to add and then you press enter now we have got the total this is a much easier step than the previous one but if the value cell is in different places the first step will be a much more easier if you have the content in a straight row or in a column that auto sum method will be easier now there is no need to apply or type the formula for all the other cells what I am going to do I am going to keep the cursor in the this total 
cell which has the formula equal to sum of d5 colon h5. If I keep the cursor on the right hand corner of that cell, the cursor changes to small black plus. Now you click and start dragging. Automatically, the total is calculated for other cells. You, you see, it is equal to sum of d6 colon h6, sum of d10 colon h10. So the total for all the students have been calculated. Now we can calculate the average. To find the average, it is equal to total divided by the total number of subjects. Here there are 5 subjects. So I am dividing by 5 and pressing enter. Now I have calculated the average for this student. Suppose I want to calculate the average for the second student. Average of the selected cells. Okay. So that is D5 colon H5. I am closing this and I am pressing enter. Now you can see instead of using total directly I have used the formula equal to average of D colon D5 colon H5. Now you start dragging the content. Now we have calculated the total and average of the students marks. Now there is a tool called conditional formatting which is a very useful tool. Suppose I want to find who are the students who have scored less than 50 that is they have failed in that particular subject. I am finding it difficult to find the students who have scored less than 50 and I am finding it difficult to find the students who are absent in that particular subject. But if I use conditional formatting, we can easily find it. So what I have to do is I have to select the data content and here in the home ribbon you have conditional formatting and here you have a set of rules. You have highlight cell rules, top bottom rules, data bars, color scales, icon set, create a new rule, clear rules, manage rules. So let me click this first one, highlight cells rules greater than, greater than 49, I want to have green fill with dark green text. These are the students who have passed in those subject. Say I am selecting once again, I am going for conditional formatting, highlight cell rules less than 50. You have to fill with light red fill with dark red text. So I am clicking OK. So you can see these are the students who have failed in that subject. Okay. So suppose if I am changing one cell, say I am going to change Rajesh Kumar if he has failed 35 from green automatically it will change to red because I have applied this format for the entire set. So if I am changing any student marks say RM if this students have scored 45. So automatically the color of the text as well as the background color will change. Now there are some students who are absent in that particular exam. Say if Gautam is absent. So these students who are absent in that test, in that test, we have to have a rule. Select the content, go to rules. You have an option called text that contains. So here you give A. Students who are absent. Fill with yellow fill with the dark yellow text. Okay. So we'll click OK. Now you see these students are absent. I can clearly find these students have scored less than 50 and other students who have scored more than 50. 
in green text now we can we have now we can calculate the standard deviation for each subject the maximum marks secured by student in each subject the minimum mark secured by a student in each subject we can also find the number of absentees okay now we can calculate the standard deviation there is a formula called STDEV standard deviation of you select the entire marks of a particular subject and close the bracket so the standard deviation of marketing management is 17.60054 now for all other subjects you keep the cursor here and drag it now the standard deviation of all subjects have been calculated the formula is equal to std ev of the particular subject okay you can select the cells and you can calculate now to calculate the minimum mark in each subject there is a formula called equal to m i n of you select the subject wise marks and close the bracket and enter now the minimum mark in mm is 12 if you want to calculate for other subject keep the cursor here and start dragging so the minimum mark in fm is 35 for hrm it is 32 for om it is 32 and rm it is 45 so if you want to calculate the maximum mark equal to max of you select the mm subject and close it so you can see the maximum mark of mm is 90 you drag it so that you can find for other subjects so now i want to count who are the student who have passed in each subject I want the total number of students who have passed in each subject. So for that there is an option called equal to count if open braces you select the range for mm I am going to find the students who are all passed. So I have selected the range followed by comma and I have to give the criteria so students who have scored greater than or equal to 50 so those students are past students so I am pressing enter once again I will repeat the formula equal to count if open braces the address of the cells where we have to calculate comma the criteria here I have telling students who have scored more than 50 or equal to 50 are pass press enter so out of 20 students 18 students have passed this formula can be applied for other subject also i am dragging it so for all the subject we have calculated students who are failed it is very simple equal to count if open braces select the range after selecting the range within double quotes you give less than 50 students who have scored less than 50 are fail so press enter so two students in mm one two four for the respective subjects so we have calculated the standard deviation the minimum marks the maximum mark the students who have passed and the students who have failed now i am going to calculate the number of absentees in each subject so equal to count if open braces and you select the cells comma within the criteria so give absent if it is absent open braces so 0 absentees in mm 
for other subjects let us calculate so you can see there is one absentee in FM, one in HRM, two in RM. So the formula for that is equal to count if, give the range, and within double quotes, you give A. Now we are going to calculate the rank for each student. So there is a formula equal to rank open braces the number so we are going to calculate the rank based on total comma out of the 20 students what is the rank the first student have scored so after this put comma you can give in descending as well as ascending order actually the rank of the student is calculated in descending order so I can click descending so you click descending order is 0 descending and close the braces I am going to drag this cell so I am going to apply the rank now check whether it is correct second rank third rank there are many students with the first rank but check the total it is wrong what has gone wrong let us see so here we have applied the formula equal to rank of i4 comma the range is i4 to i23 so that range is correct here come to the next one you see this range is wrong the formula has gone wrong here okay that is i4 colon i23 so here what I am going to do is I am going to put a dollar symbol here before 4 and before 23 so if I put a dollar symbol even if I drag the entire cell range will be the same now you start dragging now we can check actually there is one way of checking is you can sort the entire content I am going to sort the entire content using custom sort sort by total I am going to sort from largest to smallest okay you click this now we have sorted the students based on total in descending order now everything looks fine the ranking what we have given everything looks perfect but there is a flaw in this program we have ranked certain students who are absent in a particular exam see Gautam is absent but he has scored rank 13 you can see here Ranganathan has scored 18th rank and he is absent Jagan has scored 19th rank and he is absent so to solve this issue so I am going to use if count if and rank all the three functions to solve this issue now the formula is equal to if open braces count if and give the range d4 colon h4 comma within double quotes a equal to 0 comma rank i4 comma i dollar 4 colon i dollar 23 comma 0 so what I am doing is I am checking if the count of a that is if the absent is, is 0 I am going to do the ranking otherwise I won't do the ranking after I have applied the formula I am pressing enter now let us drag it I am dragging everything looks fine see where and all absentism is there the rank is typed as false ok you can see for others they have been ranked but you can see here it is false to avoid this you can uh, give the rank comma if the rank is not given 
you can give as absent so um, what I have done I have put absent and enter so if I drag this you can see here the rank will be appearing those who are absent it will be appearing as absent now whether we have solved the entire problem no for absentees the ranking system has shown as absent but there are some failures you cannot rank the failures for that we have to update the formula here so what I am going to do is I am going to count the students who are less than 50 okay if that count is 0 then I am going to rank otherwise I am not going to rank so let us change the formula so I am changing the formula to if within braces count if I am giving a range so the absentee should be 0 I am adding another if I am giving if count if the students to, who have scored less than 50 must be 0 the marks of the subject should be greater than 50 if that is the case then I will put rank otherwise I will mark them as fail and for absentees it will be marked as absent so it looks fine let us drag the formula and see whether it works yeah it works you can see Prabhakaran has failed is marked as failed Rajesh Kumar failed Gautam absent so he is marked as absent so the for the failures you can see everything is there we will delete the old ranking system and this is the new ranking system Pakka ranking system this is the rank everything looks excellent you can see here so the students have been ranked now I am going to sort using serial number using serial number smallest to largest okay now you can see we have ranked the students and everything looks good using Excel we have done the total average ranking we have done the standard deviation minimum marks maximum marks student passed student failed the absentees everything has been calculated for more videos like this subscribe our channel edukral